Okay, so I am attempting to install uh, the Serbia Serbios soft mod uh, triggered by Endgame. I watched a Mr. Mario. I'm spacing on his full name. It's like Mr. Mario 2011 or... I apologize, Mr. Mario. I am just always running around by the seat of my pants doing random shit, and I should take better notes. But I couldn't get any of my thumb drives uh, to work. So I only had a couple larger ones, and they're, they're just not playing nice with this OG Xbox. So, um, and I've had issues like this in the past. So what I did is I followed Mr. Mario's video. Um, the first part, which is the brunt of the soft mod, I FTP'd that over beforehand. So even though this is in retail, I used the Rocky 5 soft mod installer, um, it actually has an FTP server running to transfer um, the large chunk of the game save, which is like 170 megabytes across. And if anyone cares, I would assume that anybody that, that actually is that, that interested in Serbios would know all of this. Um, Cause I'm certainly not going to try and do something like Mr. Mario at that level of detail and professionalism, but I can do another video on how that works. Again, I booted the Rocky 5 soft mod installer that I used in the previous video because that comes up with an FTP server running in the background. You can push the Y button when the Rocky 5 installer is up and get your IP address. And then standard like anything else, I use FileZilla limited to one transfer at a time. So you FTP to the Xbox IP address and then it's Xbox Xbox username password so here we go okay and I had written down my kernel. I should have... I'm assuming that people have watched Mr. Mario's video and they would only watch this video if they're super impatient and they don't want to try and get a properly large thumb drive. Um, and, you know, trying to copy a game save that large is pretty fucking hinky. You're going to have some issues with it. It's just not going to be reliable for a lot of people. So... I actually think that if you have a setup like mine where you have a PC on the same subnet and you don't have any issues with your networking, this is probably the way to go, in my opinion. Uh, I don't know if it's as friendly. Um, we're all nerds in different ways, so take the path that is least resistance for you. Um, so the kernel on this, and this is a new OG Xbox, new to me. Uh, I got it from a buddy who didn't want it anymore. Uh, different than the previous Xbox. It's running kernel 5838. So per Mr. Mario's instructions, choose the proper option, which is 9. Uh, I'm going to use Unleash X. I think that's pretty super neato. That's UX is Unleash X. Um, Rocky 5 does XBMC for gamers, which is also super neato. Uh, Unleash X is super nostalgic, though, so it wins for me. This is my second attempt at doing it. Um, this machine had so much crap on it, I probably should have done the Rocky Five. Uh, extras disc retail restore because um, it just had so much weird shit on it. Um, instead of doing that, I just wiped out everything off of the E drive, the T data, U data, the cache. Uh, because the exploit was hanging, it wouldn't find anything. I think it detected something on the E drive in the game saves that it didn't know what to do, I guess. In my previous video, that's when I was rambling on about sometimes just taking it back to retail mode with the Rocky 5 retail uh, 
restore option on the extras disc or whatever the proper term for it is. Super neat. Rocky Five is the man. Um, still my favorite way to go, and I have it all set up to where I can build bigger hard drives with that. Uh, I guess my next thing to play around is how do I get this on a larger hard drive if it's something that I want to play with. I'm just interested primarily in the compressed ISO support. Um, that should be neato, especially on machines if you just have the retail drive you don't have a lot of space you might be able to pack a game that previously wouldn't fit and get it to run so super neato I'm fortunate that I have some flexibility with my work stuff. <laughs> Although, now I'm going to have to work a little later because I'm distracted by this, which is always a challenge for me. Oh, look, a squirrel! This shit is super interesting, though. Super neato. Super important, if you don't back this up and you work your hard drive, you have no way of getting it back. Okay. I already have the EEPROM backed up, so I don't care. My buddy did give me that stuff. Interesting. So we've got a video thing here. Let's give it another reboot, see if it comes up. Yep, cold boot does it. So I've got 30 seconds left before I hit my 10 limit, 10 minute limit. This is running a shitty uh, standard 480i AV cable, so I obviously need to use a better cable, but. Huh. And I did install some stuff. I might have to do another video. I'm running out of time. I can't rant. Oh, shit.